over the last few years, scientists have recognized that RNA um, has tremendous therapeutic potential in particular uh, because there's this process called RNA interference where basically a small double-stranded piece of RNA, which is like DNA, if it's inside of a cell, it can actually shut specific genes off. It's actually really a tough problem to try to make a nanoparticle that's going to take a biological molecule like RNA and you know, travel through the body, avoid um, sort of degradation, and then get into the cells you're targeting and, and then release the drug inside the cell. Developing these kinds of particles is really sort of a multi-step, multidisciplinary process. You need to actually make these oils and materials using uh, organic chemistry techniques, and we need to purify them and characterize them. Then we need to trap the RNA in the middle of a small nanoparticle. After that, there, there, there are a variety of steps that we do to characterize and analyze them and then also evaluate their performance in a biological system. We're very interested in ovarian cancer, and so we think that the, uh, the nanoparticles we've been developing could have potential there. We want to deliver an RNA that shuts down a gene that's important um, to ovarian cancer cells. And ideally, what you'd like is a therapy that sort of selectively stops the tumors and doesn't cause damage to the rest of the living tissue. We found in developing nanotherapies that having great industrial partners is, is incredibly helpful. But one of our most exciting collaborations is uh, with a company called Al Nylum um, that's really leading the charge on RNA therapy as a, as a drug. And if you want to develop a therapy that's you know, going to go through the FDA and, and, uh, and ultimately be commercialized, you really do need that input from companies. Great ideas can, can often take a long time to go from the lab into a therapy that's broadly available, but you know, we're persistent.